Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I'll be talking about countering Rufus. So without further ado, let's check it out. Alright guys, so we are talking about countering Rufus as I mentioned. So he's super easy to access, right? So he's super easy to acquire. You can get him in the Grand Arena shop which actually makes him kind of annoying because a lot of people can use him in Arena, Grand Arena, Guild Wars, etc. right? He's especially prevalent when we're talking about pet adventures. So one thing that we need to know about Rufus is his skills. It's really, really vital, actually, that when you're trying to counter any hero, you know their strengths and weaknesses. So Rufus's first skill is Rakashi's Barrier. Here, Rufus covers the entire team with a shield that absorbs all magic damage. That's a big deal. That instantly gives me a red flag that he is a counter to magic damage dealers. We have Rakashi's Mockery. So here, Rufus strikes the enemy with the greatest magic power, dealing damage over time, kind of like a poison effect. We have Devourer of Magic, part of the damage Rufus absorbed by the barrier, right, which is his first skill, is converted into Rufus's health. So basically magic damage that's dealt to the Rufus team, right, is basically gaining Ruf giving Rufus health. So that's an issue. So you don't want to you don't want that to happen either. You have Rakashi's oath. Rufus can now only be killed with physical damage. If the last attack against the hero dealt magic damage or pure damage, Rufus resurrects with a portion of health restored. So this is the part of Rufus that really, really is annoying. Not only can Rufus not be countered with anything other than a physical attacker, right, or physical attack, Rufus cannot be, you know, Rufus resurrects if it's, you know, if he's knocked out, knocked out by a magic damage dealer. So, all right, so to illustrate that point, right, Rufus's fourth skill we're going to go ahead and do auto maximum here and we're going to throw in Rufus, right? So here is Rufus and we're going to throw in a magic attacker just to illustrate how annoying his skill is. So we're going to go ahead and put Lars in, for example, right? One half of the twins team. He's going to attack Rufus and deal a lot of damage. He's actually even going to have enough damage to knock him out a couple of times, but Rufus is going to resurrect because of his fourth skill, like we mentioned, right? So, Rufus isn't going to be able to get taken out by Lars. That's just the bottom line here. Um, Lars can do whatever he wants. Rufus is just going to come back and haunt Lars until basically Lars tires himself out and the counter runs out. And you can see right here, that's exactly what happens. So how can we counter this? Of course, the you know most common answer to Rufus is a physical attacker. So you know, for example, right here, I can see Ching Mao. Ishmael, right? Um, Galahad, you know, Kark, for example. So I'll just go ahead and use Ishmael just to demonstrate that physical attackers, of course, work. Um, and these are like the most traditional, like, you know, they just deal physical damage on their face. So it's really apparent that these guys are physical damage dealers. There, Ishmael took out Rufus, no problem, real quick. But let's say, right, I'm going to go ahead and use my own Rufus because I want to illustrate a point here. So Rufus, and sadly, this cannot work for mobile players because you guys don't have pets. So I, I apologize, this, this particular counter isn't relevant, but the next one will be. So here, you know, we're gonna use Aurora, right? Who's a magic damage dealer. And we have the pet Kane. So Kane actually has a component to him that deals physical damage. So Aurora, right, you can see those little little, um, if you want to call them daggers, right? Take out Rufus, because Aurora is a magic attack damage dealer. She cannot take out Rufus. Just, it can't happen. So here, with Kane as the pet, right? Kane actually takes out Rufus, and Aurora is free to do her own thing against the other five heroes, assuming, right, you're up against a team that has five heroes. So this is really useful. I've seen this used against, um, you know, in pet adventures very often. So I apologize again to mobile guys, sorry. But don't worry, there is a counter that you can use that is not a 
obvious or I would say regular counter that I've seen just yet. So, and this entails Morgan, right? One of the undead heroes that we have. So Morgan, right? She has her skeleton minions. She also has her fourth skill, which here her minions deal physical damage, even though Morgan herself is a magic damage dealer. Here her skeletons are going to be able to take down Rufus and Rufus is Dunzo. So if we take a closer look at Morgan, right? Her fourth skill is what's really important, especially if you're in a team fight. So necromancy is the skill I'm talking about. I've also mentioned this when I'm talking about countering Astaroth. So here, whenever an enemy dies, Morgan summons a skeleton, basically right where that hero would resurrect. And even if they attempt to resurrect, um, you know, that skeleton basically takes its place. So as I said before, where Morgan is a counter to Astaroth, Morgan is also a counter to Rufus. So this makes her a variable, very useful asset. And if you want to stay in tune with that all magic attack team, right, um, Morgan may be the solution to countering Rufus. So I hope that basically kind of explains where I'm coming from with my counter list. I will go ahead and pop over to that right now. So basically recapping what I've already talked about earlier, right? So we have Kark, Ishmael, Galahad, any physical attacker is a great counter to Rufus. Morgan is also a great counter to Rufus, even though she's a magic-based hero because of her minion skeletons. For Facebook and web, sorry, mobile, you can use the pet Kane with any dodge hero, ideally, because that will allow Kane to have more opportunities to have more daggers, and those daggers will allow you to deal physical damage to Rufus and take him out. So that basically covers what I'm talking about in terms of countering Rufus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in Dominion.